All right, what's going on, Walker Nation? Um, just to give you a little update on what the things that are happening now, being three weeks out. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry again. Um, so over the weekend, um, Sunday to be exact, we had a very, very high day. We pushed the carbs pretty extreme. Um, and I put it, only put on like two pounds, honestly, which is not much. Um, so yesterday we kept, uh, we did the first two meals, just a little higher carbs in our baseline, um, not what we did on Sunday. And I woke up this morning like 0.2 ounces heavier. Um, so now we're back to the baseline diet for today. Um, cardio right now is not as high as it was. Um, my body is just in a groove now, but um, overall, I'm just, you know, I'm focused. You guys know this. Um, I am definitely tired. Um, I'm definitely fatigued. Um, but I'm just motivated, you know. I'm ready to get into this. I'm ready to, you know, be the best that I can be. And I believe a better package will be presented on the New York Pro stage than what you guys saw at Chicago. And I believe that was my best to date. Um, I'm looking to be around eight to 10 pounds heavier. Um, you know, I believe my quads have come up. I believe my back has come up. My upper chest has come up. My, I believe my waist has got even gotten tighter. Um, so yeah, we're just looking all around, you know, I believe even my posing is a little better. We've been practicing posing. Um, so overall, man, I'm just really excited to get things rolling, get things, um, you know, keep the momentum flowing here. I'm, and I'm just having fun, you know. Like I said, man, even though like, I'm tired, I'm beat up, hungry, whatever. I just love this, man. Like, you have to have that passion, like I've said before. Like, you just, it just has to be there, you know. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Um, you know, but one question I, I got, I always seem to get, which I have answered previously, but I don't mind getting into it again, is... Um, how do I deal with, you know, the negativity and all the bullshit? And honestly, man, look, that's exactly what it is. It's bullshit. You know, when you begin to reach a certain level, when you begin to start doing good and people will get jealous of it. People don't like that. Honestly, um, they don't want to see you doing better than them. So that's really all it is. Nine times out of 10, it's just a jealousy thing. You know, so I just keep working hard. I don't really pay no mind to it. I, I chime in once in a while just for shits and gigs and make it funny, but nothing really bothers me because, you know, half these people that make uh, comments, I have never met. They have zero relevance in my life. They have zero impact on my life. Um, they don't know what I do on a daily to day basis. Um, and they sure as hell ain't paying my bills. So what do I really give a shit when any of these people have to say, you know what I mean? Um, and you always, you know, and I know a lot of the comments will get to other people. You know, if I, if somebody else got the same comments I got really guys, you just, you gotta ignore it or use it as motivation, if you will, or just believe in yourself. You know, there will come a time when you think, when you'll start to wonder if, honestly, in your own heart to heart, what you're doing is even realistic or not. But if you truly believe where you're at now, like, yeah, I can take this to the fucking, take this all the way, then, then do it. Don't worry about what people have to say. You know, I remember four or five years ago, nobody thought I'd even be a pro. Well, here we are, you know, and then my pro debut, you know, six weeks after I turned pro, I took fourth. You know, and I, arguably, you know, I could have been a slightly higher, but I'm happy with fourth. You know, I think that is a good debut. You know, I got fourth, but I also presented a much better package than when I turned pro six weeks prior. So overall, you know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I don't, I don't let shit bother me. You know, now I'm getting ready for New York. I'm facing some, some good, good athletes. You know, I'm ready to have a rematch against Justin. Um, Justin, you know, not only do I think Justin is a great bodybuilder, but I think he's also a great guy. Honestly, guys, I, Justin, you know, getting to talk to him a little bit and, you know, he's a family man, great personality, and you can just tell he loves what he does. He loves to work hard. Um, this is his passion. Um, 
you know, so much respect to Justin, you know, and I'm looking forward to battling Hassan. You know, he, I believe he, he is the freak factor of the show next to me. You know, he's definitely a big, big boy. Um, so I think me and him getting the chance to stand next to each other and really battle that shit out, I think would be really cool for, you know, all the fans, you know, and all you guys to watch and see, you know, all the supporters. Like, I think that's just going to be really cool. Um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Um, but seriously, guys, you know, just keep keep doing what you're doing. Keep your eyes on the prize. You know, keep focus. And don't ever let somebody steer you away from something, you know, you, 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 you believe you can do. You know, don't let negativity affect you. You know, someone says, oh, you can't do it. Okay, watch me. Watch me do it. You know, I don't, I like to, the saying that I always say, it's not about proving your haters wrong, it's about proving your supporters right. And I stand by that to a T, like, honestly, like that is my slogan. But it does feel pretty fucking good proving some people wrong. <laughs> you know? Um, but again, you know, as long as you want this, as long as you believe in it, Guys, I promise you can achieve anything, you know, and just because you don't win your first show, just because you don't win your second show, look at how you looked at those shows. Did you look better at your second show? Because if you did, guess what? You improved. If you didn't, now you got to go back to the drawing board and figure out what went wrong. But if you keep progressing show to show, you are eventually going to win one of them. I can guarantee it and I can promise it. So just keep keep your heads up, guys. Down, whatever you prefer. Focus on the end goal. Focus on whatever fucking goal you have. And defeat that shit. Alright? Defeat it. But we are three weeks out from the New York Pro. We got a show to win. And I appreciate and love each and every one of you that have supported me from the very beginning or have recently started supporting. Uh, supporting me or been supporting me for a few years doesn't matter those that support me i love you all and thank you very much